An outdoor dining spot was leveled after a car crash yesterday on the east side. Several people were hurt in the crash, including one man who believes he could have been killed. CBS 2's Dave Carlin has more. It comes to my mind that, like, I could have died. In pain and walking slowly is Soha Ibanabi, who was one of eight people injured Friday morning when a van crashed into a car along 2nd Avenue at East 50th Street. Demolished was this outdoor dining structure. Scaffolding and sign poles came down. And the fruit and vegetable stand where Anabi was working was obliterated. Debris struck him. They hit me like in the back. He shared with us this cell phone video he took moments after he got himself up off the ground. You see the van resting in the very spot he would often stand in to bag customers' produce. Two children also among the injured. All are expected to survive. They took us to the hospital. NYU, then they do for us like x-ray, They everything. What do they say? Thanks what do they say God. about the x-ray? Like, no, there is no fractures. There is no like anything like. But it hurts? But it hurts. Authorities say the 66-year-old van driver likely experienced a medical episode, rear-ending the sedan, which was pushed into the dining area, which was mercifully empty of people. There are residents who told me they thought nothing of strolling along 2nd Avenue and popping into outdoor dining structures, but now they say they feel nervous about that. We'll reconsider and think about whether or not we want to eat on a main avenue. Anabi says he needs time away from work to heal. His roommate, Mohamed Taha, helped reconstruct this stand in less than a day and is filling in. What happened is emotional for him, even though he wasn't there. I cried, believe me, I cried, because I, he's my best friend. I never thought, like, that can happen. I thank God, like, morning and night, just because I wasn't that time in that place. Anabi says at the moment of impact, he had just stepped away to stand in a patch of sunlight. Light that he says saved his life. On the east side, Dave Carlin, CBS 2 News.